Okay, it's July 26, 2020. Made it back up to the ridge. I've been so distracted with my other projects, I haven't been up here for a while. And as you may have seen in the intro there, the deer and the turkeys have been making the most of this place. I did notice some black raspberries were coming ripe near the bottom of the ridge. And as I approached the top here, I discovered that the turkeys have been making the most of my garden boxes. That theoretically there are some potatoes growing in this one and in this one as well. They seem to like these garden boxes because I guess the dirt is loose and they've got a good view of the surroundings. So it's easy for them to keep track of anything that might be sneaking up on them. Today's task is going to be opening up at least one of these garden boxes, clearing it out, and putting in Egyptian walking onions. I figure that they can take care of themselves. I probably won't do it in the boxes where the turkeys have, have their nests because they'll only be fighting with me. So I'll let them have that ground and then set about planting the onions. And while I'm here, I'm also going to be harvesting. This is a, a patch of my wild garlic that I'm going to see what I can get out of that this year. I wasn't up here to weed it, but judging by the number of scapes that I have, that there is garlic hiding in the ground there. All right, let's see what happens. All right, I've cleared this box good enough to start planting. And I just wanted to show you, this is a supposed to be a Japanese weeding tool. It's nice, it's got a good blade on it. Let's me cut off the weeds just below the ground level and clear things out fast. This is a, we'll call a three foot by 12 foot box and did that in a couple of minutes. All right, these are the Egyptian walking onions that I intend to plant today. I pulled them, the onions that they were growing on out a couple of weeks ago and made some nice onion soup. But these are the ball beals that grow at the top. I can eat these, but they're small and I intend to plant them and get them to self propagate in this box because as they grow up they'll fall over and these guys will start growing wherever they fall. So I'm going to commence to planting these now. Probably have more than I need but might as well overdo it. So here he goes.
All right, one thing that's obvious from just letting them grow wild is because they're so closely spaced, they don't get very large. So I'm going to proceed and see if I can find anything interesting. Well, the garlic ends up being pretty small. Probably one or two reasons for that. First is, I didn't plant them. I just let them grow from the previous year's cloves. So they were, weren't spaced out properly. And if it isn't obvious, they've all got scapes on them which I'm supposed to, theoretically, I'm supposed to clip off the scapes and that'll help encourage the growth of the garlic. But I didn't get a chance to do that this year. So I'm not surprised. But I do have a bunch of small ones. They'll, I'll be able to regrow those for next year. I'll have to get out here in about late September is whenever I normally plant them. So we'll see how it goes next year. But it was a nice opportunity to come up here, visit the ridge, and enjoy the property while I can. In the meanwhile, I'm going to see if I'm actually getting a, getting some footage of this butterfly seeing it seems to want to just chill right there I'll let it while I take a break